Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Healing Touch Ministries of Love. I'm Pastor Sam Wright, and my wife is Dr. Reverend Sandra Wright, is the co-pastor. And we would thank to, we're thanking you to listen to our message this morning. And the message is going to be, are you waiting on God? Are you waiting on God? The first thing we do is going to start off with a prayer. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to reach those who you want us to reach. Let this message reach them and be helpful to them in their lives. Father, we thank you for all that you do. We thank you for the blessings and the gifts you continue to give us, Lord. And we thank you for all that you do. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay. Well, the message today is, once, like I said, are you waiting on God? And that's a very simple message. Are you waiting on God? The answer to that question is no. You're not waiting on God. God is waiting on you. You hear that? God is waiting on you. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is go to um, Philippians 4.13. And that is... You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Wow. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Yes. The other day, I was talking to a good friend of mine, and they were telling me about their problems and the things that they were going through. And we had talked a couple of weeks ago, and they were telling me what they were going through. And I, all I could do was tell them, you need to pray and ask God for help. So the other day, they called me and said, Sam, thank you so much. Things are getting so much better, and it looks like things are going to turn around. And I said to them, wow, that is awesome. That is really great. They were so happy and so jubilantly that, it was just amazing how just a couple of days things turned around. Now, yes, some things don't just turn around that quickly. And some things just don't happen right away. But if we remember and we do the things that God asked us to do, what God asked us to do. Did you hear that? I said, what God asked us to do. Remember, the message, are you waiting on God? No, you're not. God is waiting on you because you are what's important to God. And God is always there. But at times, many of us people are convinced that they're too bad for God's help or they have problems that are too big for God to handle. They have faith in their ability to do things, but not in God's ability. Instead of looking at looking to God for the solution. God is the solution to all of our problems and all the things that we go through. We have to take the time to go to God and ask God for help. That's all God is asking for, is asking him for help. And allow God to do what God does best, and that is to help us get through things. Wow. Wow helping us get through things, helping us get through the things that we think are too big for God to handle or too too much for us to even worry about. But yes, God doesn't want you to worry about it. God said, my hands and my shoulders are big enough to, to handle anything. You need to step aside and let me handle this. And that's one of the problems that we have is that we try to do things on our own. 
We try to do things that we think is best. Wrong answer. We need to be able to step aside, open our hearts, open our faith, and allow God to do what God does best. And God will do what he does if you allow him to. But you got to allow him to do it. You got to step aside, push all that other stuff aside, get Satan out of the way, because that's all Satan wants to do is to push you and to, to nudge you so that you don't look at God for help. You, he wants you to look at him for help. And that's not what it's about. You need to step aside, let God do what he wants. John 16 and 24. Until you have not asked, excuse me, until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Do you hear that? Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. God is telling you right there, ask. Come to me and ask. He's open, but you got to allow him to do what God does best and allow God to handle everything in your life. You've got to be able to pray, have faith, and trust God. That's all God is asking for. So are you waiting for God? I hope not. God is waiting on you to allow God to be able to do what God does best and let God handle everything in your life. You'll be surprised. You, you'll be more than surprised what God can do if you allow God to do that. So with that, I'm going to close. We thank you for listening. We hope that this message reaches you and you step aside and allow God to do what God does best. We thank you. God bless you and have a wonderful week. Until next month, we'll see you again. Have a great day. Have a great week. God bless you all. Thank you.